when it comes to winning football games, having a strong offensive lineman and defensive lineman is key. One of the things that drive coaches crazy is when an offensive lineman stands up. Or if you're a defensive lineman, you know, lack of penetration drives them crazy as well. Well, as strength coaches, one of the most important thing is to understand movement and movement in the field and how we can train those movements and load it in the weight room. Squat, barbell squat, and bench press is being paramount and is being uh, pretty much used in the weight room to load in order to become stronger on the football field. The problem is that either if you are an offensive lineman or a defensive lineman, pretty much you work in a diagonal pattern. Squatting, it's vertical. Bench press, you're laying down and you're pushing weight up and down. Not even close to what football players do in the football field. That's why, as strength coaches, we have developed the power swing that can be utilized with the pure motion half rack. Notice that it's a system composed of you know, simple webbing with a, a adjustable cam buckle, a Swiss bar, and, it, and the resistance can be adjusted with bumper plate or elastic bands. And we can adjust the length of the elastic band in order to increase resistance. Simeon is gonna demonstrate how we do what we call actually a lineman chest press. He's gonna assume a split stance and you have three grip choices, narrow, neutral, or wide. For the most part, you wanna try, you wanna do mostly either narrow or neutral. You create tension by moving forward slightly, keeping your neck spine alignment, and notice this straight line that allows the athlete to generate force literally from the ground up. Also notice that he's loaded by keeping the elbows at 90, okay? The execution is pretty simple. He's gonna drive forward as he extends his arm. And, the, and as he extends, you know, the resistance gets higher and higher. So it is variable resistance, okay? Now, you can change the variation of the same movement by stepping slightly forward. So Simon is gonna step slightly forward. Now there's more tension, okay? Now, as the bar goes up, go ahead and press the bar. Notice that it is the bumper plate the one that is picking up the load. The resistance starts from the band, but as the bar goes up, it is the bumper plate that uh, is it, providing the resistance. And notice again, the joint alignment from the wrist all the way down to his back foot. Here's another key element. As supposed to be a vertical movement, which is, let's say, loaded, this time, we are in a diagonal loaded. So we're bringing, pretty, or pretty much, we are combining three vectors. Vertical load, horizontal load. Think about horizontal being, you know, traction, okay? And we call it traction. That's the horizontal load. When you combine those two, you get that visual of the diagonal force line, or what we call the resultant vector, which is Simeon's body in that diagonal um, angle. And that is exactly what you see in the football field. You can also do explosive movement. For instance, go ahead and simulate get both feet together, ankle, knee, hip flexion, elbow flexion. That's a great way to generate potential energy. And then he just unloaded by taking a step forward and hitting. And then he come back and repeat. And then on the way back, he comes down to a to a vertical stand or zero resistance, and from there, he explodes again, okay, as opposed to coming back and push. Now, football, it's all about pushing for the most part, but as strength coaches, we look far beyond, you know, one specific movement. We're looking at athletic symmetry through athletic lifting. So, if I'm gonna focus in developing a pushing movement that relates to football, if I'm gonna apply athletic symmetry, then I need to counter that push with a pull. So with the power swing, what we do is we reverse the, uh, the movement into a pulling movement. So from a push with traction in an angle, now we're gonna do a pull with backward traction, 
Okay? And what we do is we adjust the length of the strap to be right above the knee. Okay? So Siemens is going to get either a, new, a uh, narrow or neutral grip. We like split stands, but athletic stands is also as good. But we like to get in the split stands. And then from here, remember, front foot, we usually get into a slight tilt. That would allow us a solid stance and a, and a solid um, center of mass, okay? And then back heel is going to be up. From that point, he's just going to check and pull, okay? Just like that. It's as simple as that, okay? And the resistance, again, can be varied by either adding bumper plates and or adding super bands and adju or adjusting the length or the resistance of the elastic or super bands. There are multiple ways of squatting, especially, you know, we all know barbell squat, front squat with the barbell, but with the power swing, we have developed what we call the uh, froggy squat, or also we call it toggle war squat. It's a great way of squatting by adding backward traction, but here is one of the benefits. As you squat, your, your spine will not be compressed. Okay? You're not gonna feel your back being compressed as traditional squatting uh, or conventional squatting. This is what I mean. Siemens is gonna load from the front, but what we have done differently here is we lower okay, the Swiss bar using these cam buckles. And then I adjust this cam buckle to shorten the radius of the pendulum. That would allow Simeon, as he does the froggy squat, to feel resistance almost immediately, okay? So he's gonna load up, and again, the bands will be also activated. So right now, he's, he's leaning back, okay? There's a lot of resistance in this angle right here. So it's mostly provided, the resistance is mostly provided by the, the elastic band and somewhat, and some from the bumper plate. From here, it's gonna do a full squat full squat, where the knees track the toes, and notice how his hamstring pretty much touch his calf. The, the unique thing about this squat is, yes, not only his spine is vertical, but there's no direct compression, even though his legs are fully loaded. Okay, and then from there, he press to stand back up, and then down again. So again, he's squatting, but it's still using three vectors. Gravity, which is vertical. You can't deny gravity, okay? This configuration, as he goes back, go back, he developed backward traction as he performed a triple extension, okay? The result then, which is the third vector, is that angle that you see Simeon performing the froggy squat, okay? So this is a great alternative of being able to load to develop lower extremity strength without adding extra stress on the spine. So to summarize, you know, what the power swing can do for your linemen, offense or defensive linemen, we have noticed that you can develop triple extension or quadruple extension press in the direction that your linemen will be moving, either offensive linemen or defensive linemen. And then we counter a pushing movement with a pulling movement just to achieve athletic symmetry and avoid or reduce the, the risk of injury. Third, we show you an alternative uh, squatting movement with traction, backward traction, without adding additional stress to your spine. Okay? And fourth, as a bonus, you can do some body weight movement. We call it, you know, just... Uh, upright rows or, or rows. So Simeon is gonna demonstrate real quick. He holds either a narrow grip or a shoulder neutral grip, and you can do your typical rows on the rack. So by this point, you can see the versatility of a powerful but simple piece of equipment like the power swing. Notice that it can be easily installed on the pure motion half rack. It can be easily put aside, so you can do your traditional 
uh, Bible training, if that's the case. But the, the, the key point here is that now you have the ability to add more vector forces or line of resistance in the weight room that truly transfer to the football field when it matters the most.